Really my entire professional career has been one bit of misbehaving after another. I've never been very good at coloring within the lines. This book is the culmination of a life of misbehaving and studying the misbehavior of others. It's really about the way actual people behave as opposed to the way that economists think people behave or the way they, uh, the people in economic models behave who are highly rational, unemotional creatures, kind of like Spock in the Star Trek series. And the people I study are humans uh, that are closer to Homer Simpson than Spock. And we humans um, don't always choose the right thing. Sometimes we overeat. Sometimes we exercise too little. Uh, many of us have trouble saving enough for retirement. Back when I was in graduate school, one of my professors was a wine collector. He had bottles of wine that he had bought many years ago and had greatly appreciated in value. And he would never buy a, a bottle of wine for that money. On the other hand, he wouldn't sell the bottle of wine for that money. Now, to economists, that's misbehaving because he would drink the bottle on special occasions. So if you drink the bottle, that means the value of drinking it is more than $100 because you could get $100 for selling it. But if you won't buy one for $100, then the value is less than $100. How can it be worth more than $100 and less than $100? We shouldn't make the mistake of thinking that misbehavior is small potatoes. The financial crisis from which we are still trying to recover consisted of misbehavior and we're still suffering the consequences.